May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. July 24, 2024, Wednesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah of the priests, who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you went forth from the womb, I sanctified you. And I made you a prophet to the nations. And I said, Alas, 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 Lord God! Behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am a boy. And the Lord said to me, Do not choose to say, I am a boy. For you shall go forth to everyone to whom I will send you. And you shall speak all that I will command you. You should not be afraid before their face. For I am with you, so that I may deliver you, says the Lord. And the Lord put forth his hand, and he touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have placed my words in your mouth. Behold, today I have appointed you over nations and over kingdoms, so that you may root up, and pull down, and destroy, and scatter, and so that you may build and plant. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I have hoped, let me never be put to confusion, deliver me in your justice, and rescue me. Incline your ear unto me, and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be to me a God, a protector, and a place of strength, that you may make me safe. For you are my firmament and my refuge. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the sinner. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my patience, O Lord, my hope, O Lord, from my youth, by you have I been confirmed from the womb, from my mother's womb you are my protector. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall show forth your justice, your salvation, all the day long. Because I have not known learning, you have taught me, O God, from my youth, until now I will declare your wonderful works. I will sing of your salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. In that day, Jesus, departing from the house, sat down beside the sea. And such great crowds were gathered to him that he climbed into a boat and he sat down. And the entire multitude stood on the shore. And he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow seed. And while he was sowing, some fell beside the road, and the birds of the air came and ate it. Then others fell in a rocky place, where they did not have much soil. And they sprung up promptly, because they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose up, they were scorched, and because they had no roots, they withered. Still others fell among thorns, and the thorns increased and suffocated them. Yet some others fell upon good soil, and they produced fruit, some one hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Are you like the rich soil, receptive to God's word, or do distractions hinder your spiritual growth? On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him, that he got into a boat and sat down, 
and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables. Matthew 13 verses 1 to 3 Why did Jesus speak in parables? In today's Gospel, Jesus goes on to teach the familiar O parable of the sower. Immediately after that parable in today's Gospel, the disciples do ask Jesus this question. They ask, Why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus responds to them, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. So why is that? First of all, a story is easy to listen to. It keeps our attention and is easily remembered. In the parable of the sower that we hear today, Jesus explains that the seed sown by the sower falls either on the path, on rocky ground, among thorns, or on rich soil. This is a very visible description that will lead people to conclusions right away. Everyone knows that the ideal place for seed to be sown is rich soil. And everyone knows that the seed sown on the path, rocky ground, and among thorns has little hope of producing fruit. Therefore, this parable easily draws the listener in so as to understand some basic lessons. With that said, this story will only become a parable if the deeper lesson is learned. Clearly, Jesus wanted the crowd to understand that they will only understand the mysteries he is teaching them if they are like the rich soil. And he also wanted them to understand that much of what he was teaching them was not falling on rich soil in their hearts. This parable, as well as all of Jesus' parables, has the effect of causing the listener to think. Thinking leads to what we may term a holy curiosity, and this holy curiosity will begin to produce the rich soil that was needed within them so as to open the door to the deeper mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. How does Jesus speak to you? Are you able to listen to Jesus speak directly to you in prayer so as to reveal to you the deepest mysteries of heaven? When God speaks to you in prayer and meditation, does the seed of his word take root in your very soul? Does his gentle, quiet but transforming voice, communicate to you who he is, and what his will is for your life. If not, then parables are for you. And knowing that, is an important discovery. Reflect today, upon the desire of God to speak to you. If you do struggle with hearing the clear and profound voice of God, resonate within your soul, then do not be afraid to spend time with the many parables that Jesus told. Try to place yourself within the scene. See yourself as a participant. In today's parable, see your inner self as the field. Think about those things in your life that keep your soul from being rich soil. Allow this story of Jesus to speak to you. As you do, be attentive to God's voice. Listen for him and listen to him. And as you do hear him, know that the seed he has scattered has begun to reach that rich soil of your heart. Let us pray. My teaching Lord, you desire to speak to me and to reveal to me all that you are. Help me to hear your voice so that I will come to know you more. Make my heart truly fertile soil in which the seed of your word is sown, so that you can produce within me an abundance of good fruit. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.